Hello, teachers and students. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Mom Rain. If you haven't subscribed yet on my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also the notification bell para maging updated tayo whenever I upload videos. So for today's video, we have operations and rational algebraic expression based on most essential learning competencies or MELC. In this video, you will learn how to multiply rational algebraic expressions completely. Now, let's have a review. Express the product in the simplest form. We have 3 over 5 times 10 over 7 is equal to... All you have to do is to multiply the numerator into the numerator and the denominator to its denominator. So, 3 times 10 is 30 and 5 times 7 is 35. But it's not yet in simplest form. You have to get the common factor of 30 and 35. So that is 5. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. And 35 divided by 5 is 7. So that is the final answer. Let's have another technique on how to multiply two fractions. So we have 3 times 5 times 10 over 7. Let us see if it's in the numerator and the denominator has a common factor. So if you have to look at it diagonally, you have 10 and 5 that is divisible by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So just multiply the remaining factors. So that is 3 and 2. That will be 6 and 1 times 7 is equal to 6 over 7. So pwede natin gawin yung nasa unang way or the other way. Now let's have another example. y raised to 6 over 8 times 4 over y cubed equals 4 times y raised to 6 is 4y raised to 6 and 8 times y cubed is equal to 8y cubed. It's not yet in simplest form. So we have to get the common factor. So their common factor is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. On our algebraic expression, that is y raised to 6 over y cubed, gagamitin natin yung quotient rule. So you have to subtract their exponent. The same basis, subtract the exponent. That will become 1y cubed over 2. The simplest form is y cubed over 2. Let's have another way. So the same y raised to 6 over 8 times 4 over y cubed. So titignan natin diagonally the numerator and the denominator if it has common factor. So, mapapansin nyo yung y raised to 6 and y cubed, para silang base, which is y, and yung exponent ni y raised to 6 ay 6 at y cubed ay 3. So, kung ano yung matitira, so yung 6, pwede natin i-divide sa y cubed, that will become y cubed. And y cubed divided by y cubed, that is 1. Next is 4 and 8. Divisible sila pareho sa 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 
8 divided by 4 is 2. Kukunin na natin ngayon yung simplest form. Bibilugan natin, so that is y cubed times 1, 2 times 1. So the answer is y cubed over 2. The same answer, different way. Okay? So in multiplying rational algebraic expressions, we have p over q times r over s is equal to pr over qs. The same process yung gagamitin natin when we are multiplying fractions. Multiply first the numerator and over the denominator. So in multiplying rational algebraic expressions, we have this example. 6x squared over 10x cubed times 5x over 12. Gawin muna natin yung long method, which is numerator multiplied by the numerator over denominator multiplied by the denominator. So, kunin natin. So, 30x cubed over 120x cubed. Mapapansin nyo, meron tayong common factor sa numerator and the denominator, which is the x cubed. So, pwede natin silang i-cancel. Automatic, 1 na yung sagot na. Okay? 30 over 120 na lang yung natira. And 30 over 120 has a lowest term of... Correct. That is 1 4. Gawin naman natin yung easy method. 6x squared over 10x cubed times 5x over 12. So, makikita natin, diagonally, we have 6 and 12. They have a common factor of 6. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. On the other hand, meron naman tayong uh, dia other diagonal. Meron naman tayong x and x cubed. They're both divisible by their common factor, which is x. So, x divided by x is 1. And x cubed divided by x is x squared. Meron pa. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong x squared sa denominator. Meron din tayong x squared sa numerator. So, pwede natin silang i-cancel pareho. Ano pa ang nakikita natin when we are looking diagonally from the numerator and denominator? Meron pa tayong 5 and 10. 5 and 10 are both divisible by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, bilugan natin yung mga factors na natira. So, 1 times 1 is equal 1. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, the answer is 1 over 4. The same answer, but in different way. Okay, let's have another example. We have 2x plus 6 all over 10 times 30 over 3x plus 9. Multiply natin numerator to the numerator and the denominator to the denominator. So, that will become 30 times the quantity of 2x plus 6 all over 10 times the quantity of 3x plus 9. Using distributive property, multiply natin yung nasa numerator. That will become 60x plus 180. And, do naman tayo sa denominator using the distributive property. That is 30x plus 90. Is this the final answer? No. Because on the numerator, meron tayong common factor. That is 60. And the denominator, meron naman tayong common factor, which is 30. So, ilalabas natin yon 
at yung multiply dun sa natirang other factor, which is 60 times the quantity of x plus 3 all over 30 times the quantity of x plus 3. Mapapansin nyo, we have common factor sa numerator and denominator that is x plus 3. We can cancel them out. Ang matitira na lang ay 60 over 30. 60 divided by 30 is 2 and 30 divided by 30 is 1. So the answer is 2 over 1 or 2. Try naman natin gamitin yung short method or the easy method. So kapag binomial, kukunin muna natin yung kanilang common factor and then get the other factor. So 2x plus 6 has a common factor of 2. So 2 times the quantity of x plus 3 over 10 times 30 over yung 3x naman plus 9 ay may common factor na 3. So, ilalabas natin si 3 at kukunin yung other factor. So, that will become 30 over 3 times the quantity x plus 3. Now, titignan na natin ngayon, diagonally, kung merong common factor na pwedeng ma-cancel out at makuha ang final answer. So, merong x plus 3, diagonally, sa numerator and the denominator. Next is, meron namang 30 and 10. They are both divisible by 10. So, 30 divided by 10 is 3. And 10 divided by 10 is 1. Multiply na natin ngayon yung mga naiwan. So, 2 times 3 and 1 times 3. So, that will become 6 over 3 or 2 over 1. And the final answer is 2. So what did you learn? So in multiplying rational algebraic expressions, we must know first if the numerator and the denominator are factorable. So kailangan muna natin malaman kung meron silang common factor or wala. And then, Proceed with the process of multiplication, wherein you have to multiply the numerator to the other numerator and and denominator to the other denominator. Lastly, you have to simplify or write the product in lowest term. If you will rate yourself on how much you've learned today, what would it be? Now you can try this. Find the product and simplify. Number 1, 5c plus 15 all over 4d minus 4 times 8 over c plus 3. And number 2, 4x squared over 5y times 35y raised to 4 over 6x cubed. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons, you may now like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel through your desktop, tablet, and mobile phones. You can also like and follow my Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com slash official. Don't forget it! At ito mong muli si Mam Ray na nag-iiwan ng mga katagang pag-aaral ay pagbutihin. Kaalaman ay pagyamanin. Bye-bye!